Now what I'm going to do now, and the beauty is with these pots, is you can vary how you feed. So what I'm going to do now, again, not going to count exactly, around about 12 to 14 maggots. I've caught that fish on the right hand line. And what I'm going to do now is go out onto the right hand line, shake five or six maggots in. Then I'm going to go onto my left hand line, but I'm not going to feed. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes. If I don't get a bite, then the five or six maggots that are left in the pot, I can shake on that line and go back onto the fed area to the right. So what I'm saying is, you know, by accurate fishing, nice and positive fishing, using that slightly bigger pot, you can actually leave a few maggots in the pot whilst you're fishing another line. So here we go, this is the plan. I've just caught a fish off the right hand line. So I'm literally going to shake five or six maggots in on that line leaving a few maggots in my pot I'm going to go onto my left hand line now I'm not going to shake them in to begin with I'm going to fish for two or three minutes and just see if there's a fish over the bait that I tapped in there around about ten minutes ago if not I can feed and I can go back onto the right hand line and see if a fish has come to the bait that we've just put in one little tip if you're going to do this, and it is a deadly way of fishing two lines, is try and keep your pole pot dry. Because the minute that it gets wet, the minute you dunk it in the water, the maggots get wet and they're going to crawl up the side of the pot. And it's going to be virtually impossible to keep the maggots in the pot on the line that you don't want to feed yet. You can see those maggots, they're still in the pot. You can see the little shade of red in that pot where the maggots have stayed in there. If I do get a bite and I strike and the maggots come out, I'm not too worried about that. There's only five or six maggots in there and if they go off at a slight angle, it's not a problem. I know where I'm fishing. I know where I'm actually going to be targeting those fish. And if a few maggots do come out in a different area, it's not the end of the world. If anything, it's creating a slightly bigger area for those fish to, to graze over. I don't want loads of maggots in different areas. I'll try not to do it. But if that float goes under, I'm going to strike properly, try and set that hook. 